Schooling and learning are not the same thing. People tend to think that if kids get enough schooling, they will be smart. But more and more, science and our own kids are teaching us that learning outside the classroom is far more effective. An interesting thing to learn is that geniuses throughout history were educated outside of a traditional classroom. They were allowed to learn in environments that complemented their abilities and did not force them to be like all the other kids. I'm going to introduce to you the five principles for authentic and powerful learning. The first is that every child has genius. We do not seek to standardize children, but to draw out each child's individual strengths. These strengths can be found in a variety of disciplines, not just reading, writing, and math. Albert Einstein wrote, everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. So if you put a lot of kids in one classroom, it becomes necessary to require the kids to shut up and sit down. A standardized common curriculum is used so that teachers can literally keep all the kids on the same page. But this is when the individual gets lost and they never have a chance to work on the stuff they're good at because nobody worries about the kid that's ahead. Instead, schools spend extra time and money on the kids that are behind. They don't care about your child's individual genius. She is lost in the crowd. Sadly, focusing on your child's weaknesses will not help them explore their genius. It is by focusing on their strengths that they come to their own. State standards are what you have to do when you're in a crowded classroom, but comparing your child to the state standards or to other kids in any way is what holds them back. If you really want your kids to be their best selves, you will recognize and encourage their strengths. Principle number two of authentic and powerful learning is children like to learn. Children are naturally curious. We believe in the capacity of children to learn without exterior motivation, grade levels, or grading. Children are naturally curious and love to explore, experience, experiment, create, and learn. And so we do a lot of projects with the kids and we integrate all the school subjects into those um, projects. There's no need to buy a common curriculum when all school subjects, including reading, writing, and math, can be done through meaningful learning experiences, even at home. So uh, principle number three of authentic and powerful learning is that a child's time is important. So we have small class sizes. Dynamic learning can't happen in a crowded classroom. Authentic learning is loud and messy. Plus, with a small class size, the teacher has the opportunity to help each child at their individual level. Class time should move at the speed of learning. We don't want to waste the time of the students. Class time should be reserved for learning experiences that are not as easily done individually or at home. Things like collaboration, experiments, group learning projects, games, team sports, and the performing arts. Beyond that, learning can happen anywhere. As a matter of fact, some subjects are better learned outside a classroom. For example, there isn't any classroom reading program that can compare to the power of a mother and child reading together. Principle number four of authentic and powerful learning. Children deserve to feel comfortable, included, and liberated. Far too often, schools are not emotionally safe places. Increasing numbers of kids suffer from anxiety and stress from learning environments that do not match their natural learning abilities because emotion is the gatekeeper to learning and performance. Children need to be in a relaxed, alert state in order to learn effectively. Principle number five of powerful and authentic learning is that um, learning is fun. High interest turns to increased learning. So we keep learning fun, which includes movement. Not only do children prefer to move while they learn, but it also aids in learning. When the entire body is involved in the process, learning happens faster. Children love to collaborate and it is a powerful way to for kids to learn from one another as well. We encourage you to go on field trips that complement the theme. Speaking of themes, we have a theme every year that that um, the, the families vote on to choose what are, it will, it's like an overlay for all of our learning. learning.